Hannibal. So the Hannibal director. We're going to start the show today talking about the Hannibal. Who's director. Hannibal? So Hannibal is not Hannibal Lecter. Hannibal oh. was a Carthaginian general in the second Carthaginian, century. From Carthaginian Carthage. Carthage. from Carthage. From so, Carthage. Okay. And, and he was he fought with the Romans. Famously, took his army across the mountains. But what a lot of people don't know is that when the Romans had him surrounded, they were coming for him. He did not want to become a Roman prisoner, and he poisoned himself to death. He committed suicide. By the way, the Israeli commanders in Lebanon in the 1980s. A couple of Israeli commanders come up with this doctrine called the Hannibal Directive. Hezbollah uh, takes Israeli soldiers hostage, and the Israeli commanders come up with a plan to say, if Hezbollah is going to take our soldiers hostage, we don't want them hostage. We get them back at all costs. So what's interesting, Basim, is, and, and why I think we need to talk about on this show today, is you have the UN report comes out. It says the Hannibal Directive will apply. It refers to the Yasmin Parat incident in Kibbutz Berry, where... Hamas and Palestinian Islamic Jihad and other fighters carried out some of the worst atrocities. They took hostages into a house and they said they wanted to negotiate to get out. Yeah. The Israelis, a general turns up called uh, Barak Hiram, I think his name is, and he's a settler, by the way. Some of the generals but, on the day were hardcore messianic yeah. Israeli soldiers. Ba Barak what? Uh, Hiram, I think. Ha Haram. My pronunciation's so, horrible. Yeah. I apologize so he, to my so Israeli friends. So he did something that's totally haram. And I just want to be clear, Basim, just to back you up, the general who turns up gives the order to say, and this is reported in the media, he says, go in, shoot, even if civilians die, right? This is his order. And some <laughs> other Israeli soldiers who were on the ground have told Haaretz and other Israeli media that they were shocked at that order. <laughs> and 13, by the way, the families of the people who died in Kibbutz Berry have complained to the Israeli government. They've demanded an investigation. One was done quickly, which cleared the general. And cleared they, they, the they, 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 they give, did they give the general they, one star? What annoys me, Basim, as a journalist, is I don't expect the Israeli government to do an investigation, no. but I do expect media organizations to do an investigation. So only, there's no coverage of Hannibal. No coverage of what might have happened on October 7th. You would think that if it is the biggest terrorist attack, the 9-11 of our time, you would think there would be a lot of media coverage of what actually happened on the day, and there isn't. 